Hello, this is Teresa Jackson. In this tutorial, I will show you how to organize your layers panel using layer groups. I have a postcard design here in Photoshop with a number of layers, so many layers that I have to actually scroll down through the layers panel to see all the layers in the document. Layer groups are a great way to organize these and shorten up the layers panel so that it's easier to find your content. There are several different ways to add a group to the Layers panel. One way is to click on the Panel menu icon in the upper right hand corner of the Layers panel and we'll see here New Group. With this method we have an option to name the group as we create it, so that might be helpful. I'm going to say OK. That added a new group folder to the Layers panel. I'm going to do a Command Z or a Control Z to undo that and show you a quicker way at the bottom of the layers panel is this folder icon. Clicking on the folder icon will also add a new group but it just automatically names it group 1. You don't have an option to rename it as you create it. I could double click on this and name it at this time and just call it new group. Both of these methods created an empty folder or an empty group with no contents. I can drag content into that folder. Um, for example, I might want to put the text layers, greetings from, and national park. I might want to group them. So let's select the, um, we need to scroll up here to find those. We'll select national park. I'll hold the shift key down and select greetings from. And so both of these text layers are selected now and I'm going to just click and drag and release inside of that group folder. Now you'll see that National Park and Greetings From are grouped together. The folder view is open. It's just like the folder view on your, um, your computer in your Finder or your Explorer. If I click on this caret to collapse it, then it hides the contents of that folder. Um, it, from the layers panel. So it essentially it shortens the layers panel down. If I want to hide the view of the text, I can click on the visibility icon. And so that turns the visibility of both of those on and off together because they're grouped together in this folder grouping here. To further organize this, I'd like to group all the contents of this postcard inset here where it says Grand Canyon. So I'm going to collapse this new group. Let's actually double click on this and give it a name that makes sense. We'll call it, um, we'll just call it text. So this group contains the greetings from a national park text. I want to put all the contents of the Grand Canyon inset into a group of itself. I'm, I'm going to start with the layer here, uh, the hue saturation, which is giving um, some additional color to the photo that's insetting the Grand Canyon. If I toggle that on and off, we'll see that that brightens that up. Then I have the text photo inset. I have the text for the Grand Canyon and I have a copy of the text for the Grand Canyon for the, the orange colored drop shadow. And then below that I have a texture layer that lays over the photo behind the Grand Canyon. That's the bottom element of everything that I want to group together. So holding my shift key down, I'm going to select on that bottom layer. And now all of the layer content that I want to group together is selected. With all of these layers selected, when I click the group icon at the bottom of the layers panel, it not only creates a new grouping, but it puts all of those layers into that group together. So now I can toggle on and off the visibility of that inset in my postcard design. I can toggle this layer group open by clicking on this caret here to see all the contents inside of that group. Let's rename this group to, we'll call this Grand Canyon Inset. And inside of a layer group, you can have additional groups. Like I might want to group um, the texture and the image that's behind the Grand Canyon and put them in their own grouping. So I'll select the texture, I'll hold the shift key down, I'll select the photo, click on the group icon, and now I have a group inside of a group. So we can call this the photo. And 
I could further group the Grand Canyon text. I have the Grand Canyon on one layer and I have the drop shadow on another layer. Um, the photo and the uh, saturation layer are clipped to that. So these are all part of the Grand Canyon text. So I shift click to select all of them and I'll click the group icon and now we have the Grand Canyon text. And with these groups, I now have a much neater, more organized layers panel, making it a lot easier to turn on and off content and to find the content that I'm looking for. I'll finish this off with some tips on how to navigate your layers panel if you want to move the contents. I'm going to switch to my move tool with the V on my keyboard and now we have the move tool active. If I want to move something at this point it's going to move whatever is selected in the layers panel. So right now the Grand Canyon inset grouping is selected so if I click and move, it'll move that entire grouping. I'll do a Command Z or a Control Z to reset that. But what if I want to move the text greetings from? I can't just click on it to move it because it'll still move the group that's selected here. What we need to do is change in the upper left hand corner here, we need to turn on auto select and when we have auto select turned on we have the option to choose auto select a group or auto select a layer. Let's start by looking at the layer. At this point I should be able to click on the greetings from and move that but what happened is is it auto selected the grunge layer that sits on top of everything. It didn't see through to the greetings from text layer below. I'll do a command Z to move that back into place. What I need to do is lock this grunge layer so that it will auto select the contents below. So with the grunge texture layer selected, I'm going to click the move icon along here where it says lock. And now when I click on greetings from, it sees through that grunge layer, it saw into the uh, text grouping and it selected that group or that text layer. Let's do a command Z to move that back and see what happens when we switch auto select to group. And now let's move the entire grouping of Grand Canyon. So if I select anywhere inside of this group, it will move the entire contents of that grouping. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to spend a little extra time on the front end organizing your layers with names and layer groups so that you can save time in the long end looking for the content that you need to find.